Hey everybody, it's Jen. Um, so I just wanted to come on because I am officially done all of my doctor's appointments before my surgery. And let me tell you, there was a lot of them. Um, for all of you who are just starting your weight loss journey, like I'm not telling you this to scare you, but I really wish I had at least been prepared and knew all I had to go through. Um, everyone's been asking me when I started my journey and I had decided to do it in April. I lost my job and my insurance a week later. Um, I quickly got a job again, like a week later and, um, I got my insurance back in June. I put it off a little bit and then I decided to do it. You know, I, I made the decision again the end of July. So I believe I went to my surgeon on like the, the 31st of July. I decided that I was going to get everything done quick because I didn't want to put things off again and just get in a rut. So I went to get ready a dietitian a psychiatrist, a neurologist twice, a pulmonologist twice, my gynecologist, which if you're a guy, obviously you don't need to do that, but I'm sure you'll have to have some kind of physical, um, my surgeon like four times, the hospital twice, um, my family physician half a dozen times for blood work and diet programs and everything else. Um, went to him several times. So I probably had 15 appointments and I, my co-pays are like $40. Wow. So I shelled out a lot of money. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Um, if you guys have the means or if you don't have copays like I do, which <clears throat> everyone's been telling me that, you know, works are kind of going that way because it's cheaper for them. So I'm sure everyone's in the same boat as me, but doctor's offices do work with you. Like I've was in a position where I couldn't pay the full coat pay. So one doctor took half, the other doctor took, I paid half and then they billed me the other half. Um, so they do work with you. They know how the economy is now. So, um, what else? What was the point of me telling you this? So just be prepared. Um, I really would just get it all done. Get it done quick because it's so worth it. And if you guys think that you may have a sleep apnea, go to the pulmonologist first because if you do, at least with my doctor, and I'm pretty sure with most doctors, if you have sleep apnea, they're going to make you go on a CPAP machine for at least a month. Um, so that's going to delay your surgery. So get that one done first. Um, anything else? Oh, um, so yeah, yesterday, my, that was it for that, by the way. Um, yesterday, I went to my last doctor's appointment. And there was a couple things I found out that I'm kind of like, eee. um, so when, okay, let me back up a little bit. When I first went to this doctor, I didn't realize he didn't do the surgery, surgery laparoscopically. He cuts you and the cut can be anywhere from four to eight inches. Um, depending on where your intestines are. So that's something you really need to ask up front. Another thing is, um, <laughs> my doctor, um, and maybe all doctors do this, but I don't think they do. Um, they don't give you morphine or Dilaudid, Percocet, anything after the surgery because they need you to be alert. And if anyone's ever had surgery and had like a morphine drip or anything, you know that like really all you do is sleep and you don't want to be bothered with 
which is nice to me. Hey, if I got to be stuck in a hospital for four days, let me sleep it away. <laughs> and um, since you're on like intravenous, you know, fluids and you don't eat for three days, you know, wouldn't want to sleep the entire time. Anyway, rambling. Um, so yeah, they give you an epidural instead in your upper back. I am the biggest needle phobe. Is that a word? I'm making it up. A needle phobe if it's not a word, but I think it is. Anyway, I hate needles. Uh, I'm like seriously freaked out by them. And like epidurals, like supposedly, are like the needles of all needles. And it goes in your back and it goes in your spine. Ew! So if anyone's had that done, please let me know because I am horrible with pain. And I'm sure it's going to hurt going in, but what I'm really concerned about is after the surgery. If it really does help with the pain. So, um, please let me know. Anything else? Um, oh yeah. And they give me little tiny needles that I have to poke myself with for like three weeks after surgery. What is that about? It's a blood thinner, I guess, so you don't get blood clots, which, hey, I don't feel like dying anytime soon, so I'm all for the blood thinner. But I have to give myself a shot? Not cool. So, yeah. But anyway, just so, you know, people that are just starting this journey, like, ask if they deal with laparoscopy and ask how they deal with pain management. Two important questions because, honestly, if I had known, like, while I love my doctor, if I had known in the beginning, I probably would have looked around a little bit more for another doctor. But um, what's done is done, so I'm happy, just a little concerned. Um, and if I didn't tell you guys already, it's Dr. Gus Slotman. He's with LMA Surgical Associates in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and he works out of... Um, wow. Oh, Lord's Medical Center in Camden. I always want to say Lady of Lord, Our Lady of Lords, and it's, that's not what it is. It's Lord's Medical Center in Camden. So, I think that's about it. Oh. What was that? Oh. Uh, not cool. I just heard a weird noise, and my boyfriend's not home. If I die, send someone. Anyway, sorry. Uh, okay, so I think it's gone. Whatever it was, something crashed. But, um, so, yeah, that's it. So pray for me. My surgery's in four days. Yep, four days. I'm so excited. So, um, my mom's coming on Monday and bringing her digital camera. I wanted to do before pictures, and I'm looking through all my pictures, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, all my pictures are from the chest up. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's all our pictures usually are. <laughs> We're like, I mean, I've gone as far as to tell my mom, like, when you take a picture, take it from the chest up. Like, do not do full body. So, um, anyway, I'm going to do full body, and I'm going to post my weight still think I'm going to do it after the surgery, but, <laughs> but it's coming, and, um, yeah, that's about it, so, pray for me, I'm going in soon, and, yeah, that's it, so, I'll talk to you guys later.